Blessings, Life Church. The writer of Hebrews tells us that we are to consider each other, to get to know each other, and to push one another towards God's love and good works. And he goes on to say that we should not forsake the assembling of ourselves together. We need to come together and encourage one another. That's what we do in the Men of Life small group. You are welcome. Her faith is legendary. Her courage, exemplary. And her God has the power to change everything. Take a walk with Ruth and the God who rocked her world. Even 32 centuries later, the girl still got it. So do you, beloved. Like Ruth, you've always been part of God's Love the World plan. As surely as we know how the book of Ruth ends, happily, God knows how your story is going to unfold. The girl still got it. Think of it as time travel without gimmicks, gizmos, or a DeLorean. A novel approach to Bible study that leaps from past to present, gleaning timeless truths while drawing you nearer to the one who knows you fully, loves you completely, and holds you close to his heart. You know Ruth's story. Now meet her in person and prepare to be changed. Hello, ladies of Life Church. My name is Meredith Moody, and I'm leading the Bible study, The Girl Still Got It, Ruth and the God Who Rocked Her World. I believe that the Lord has a lot that He's wanting to share with us through Ruth's story about connection and community and identity and purpose. And I want to personally invite you to come along this journey with me as we study her story and see what the Lord wants to share with each of us about her life, her journey, and how it impacts us today. You don't want to miss it. My name is Gail Bean, and I am the leader of the Women of the Word class who meets on Sunday mornings. We are a closely knit group of women who meet together to study the Word. We pray for each other, and we support each other. And the other is the Christian Foundations class. It is led by Teddy May, and they emphasize the foundations of our faith in order to live a, a successful Christian life. We meet at 9 o'clock in the Faith Academy High School building, and we invite you to join us. Hi, I'm Karen Ward, and I'm inviting you to join me in a study of the blood of Jesus. What does the Old Testament tell us about the blood of the Lamb? Does Jesus tell us in the Gospels about his own blood? What revelations were given to the apostles about the precious blood of Jesus? How does the blood of Jesus impact my life, my faith, and my prayer life? These are some of the questions that we're seeking answers to as we study the precious blood of Jesus. On March 2nd, we will start our quest lasting for four weeks until March 23rd. Join me as we seek to find the truth in the precious blood of our Lord Jesus. The world is full of hurting people, and the church is not immune. For too long, there has been a sense of shame and stigma surrounding the mental health crisis. This is a problem that the church cannot ignore. Over 40% of people in our country suffer from mental health issues on a daily basis. And the church should be a place where people can run to, not run from, when they're in need. We plan to remove the power of shame and isolation surrounding mental health by walking out Galatians 6-2 and bearing one another's burdens. We will discuss practical steps that we can implement in our lives and we can help others implement in their lives to help deal with mental health issues. John 1.14 says, The Word became flesh and dwelt among us and we saw His glory, the glory of the only begotten, full of grace and truth. People have often felt that there's a schism between psychology and psychiatry and our relationship with Jesus. But more and more research has shown that these two don't have a chasm between them, but are meshed together perfectly. While this group doesn't substitute for medical advice, we hope that it will help you heal and help you become a place of healing for those who are broken and hurting around you. We hope to see you there.